What Remains of Edith Finch is not your usual jump scare, heart pounding kind of game. It's more on the unsettling, creepy, and interesting side. The game is a collection of short stories about a cursed family. Every story offers different gameplay elements and told in the first person view, all ending in death. Unsettling, weird, creepy, worthy follow up. Easily one of the games to look forward to. A fearless parent? Check. A missing child? Check. A terrifying environment? Check. Through the Woods is a third-person horror game heavily influenced by Norse mythology and Norwegian folklore. The game oddly looks like an early horror classic like Silent Hill, with a more dynamic and reactive narration. The music and sound behind the game are very promising. Truly heart-pounding. Scavenge, build, fight, and survive this utopian world. The only way to making it out alive is with the help of an AI called Pamela. You wake up from a long cryo sleep in Eden, fight off its zombie-like citizens while scavenging for things needed to keep yourself alive. This game leans more towards survival than it does to horror. But then again, there are times when their unpredictable zombies get you by surprise. That's when the real excitement begins. The Park is a psychological horror game aptly set in an amusement park. A missing son? How original can a horror game get? Explore the less fun rides and attractions in hopes of finding your lost son. I have to say though, the voice acting in this game is great. And Lorraine, her persona and tone changes just as much as you interact with the environment. Abductions is a first-person alien horror game built using the powerful Unreal Engine 4. It's set in one big universe called The Hum, created by Ariel Arias. You take on the role of Holly Sanders. She lost her husband months prior after a mysterious vanishing, and now she's on a path to retrieve her baby from an alien abduction. Talk about awful luck. The Hom Abductions looks like a game that you'd get if you mix PT, Gone Home, and Aliens. Yes guys, it's that good looking of a game. Since PT's downfall, or um, cancellation, more and more game studios have been making their own rendition of the game, hoping to grab the attention of the many disappointed fans around the world. In Visage, you will really feel like you are inside the game. The graphic quality is astounding. The ambience, spine tingling, and the music haunting. The same premise as with most first-person horrors set for VR. You're trapped, defenseless in a haunted institute or house, where most events are randomly activated, ensuring each playthrough being unique. Let's face it, horror in space? There have been a lot of good ones already. Aliens, Isolation, and um, the first Dead Space. So what makes Routine any different? According to its creators, one big discerning factor of the game is the permadeath system. I don't know if death means going back to the very start of the game, or worse, the feature locks you out of the game. I sure do hope not. The horror of dying alone at the bottom of the ocean is by far one of the worst ways to go. This is what the game Narcosis promised to deliver, giving you the feeling of helplessness, the dread of exploring the deep unknown world of the abyss. Did I survive? If not, who am I telling this to? The narration gives pronounce that is disturbing and ominous. The horror genre in gaming is such a wonderful thing because it's not shackled to any patterns or convention. It's all up to the devs' imagination to find new ways to scare the shit out of gamers. Enter the world of perception. Experience the thrill of the unknown in a blind person's perspective. 
C using echolocation, where sounds create a visual map of the surroundings and unravel the mysteries behind the abandoned estate that's been haunting the young blind woman's dream. After a successful Kickstarter campaign, Friday the 13th, the game, formerly known as Summer Camp, is finally coming out. Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake, where you can play as one of the teenagers running for their dear lives. Or you can be the nightmare incarnate Jason Voorhees and hunt everyone and everything that moves. This in single player mode. The multiplayer features a 1 vs 7 predator prey gameplay. Let the hunt begin. Outlast 2, an indirect sequel to the survival horror game that made a lot of gamers cringe in fear. Set in the same universe with different characters and setting, this game is still under heavy wraps, but one thing's for sure, it's bound to make dents in your psyche. As the developer puts it, Outlast 2 will test your faith, pushing players to a place where going mad is the most sane thing to do. Konami's decision to drop the development of Silent Hills and fire their best developer left a bad taste in many fans' mouths. Allison Rose, touted as the spiritual successor to the PT slash Silent Hills game, it's as good looking and realistic. Uncover the whereabouts of your family, solve the mysteries of the house, and survive the dark, twisted presence that lurks deep within the walls. Definitely not for the faint-hearted.